Welcome back Flutter developers. Welcome to my channel about Flutter. In today's video, we will be taking a look at plugin, Flutter plugin for text-to-speech functionality. So in today's video, we will be working through a app or a little part of an app, which is uh, here, it's right here. So it's a title, an image, and a little description about the image. In this case, uh, we are showing Griffith Re uh, Observatory, which is based in LA, and we are uh, ha uh, we uh, have a little description down there about a fact that I took from internet. So there's a play button down there, as you see at the bottom in the green arrow. So when you click this uh, button, it will start reading aloud the description, which says the Griffith Observatory is the most iconic building in Los Angeles, perched high in the Hollywood Hills and which is about 1134 feet above sea level. So when you click on this, it will read this description aloud and you see as uh, the button, the green button will change into the red button uh, and it will give you a chance to stop the playing if you don't want it to. So let's get started. Again, as the same as I do in my other videos, I have a companion article for this video as well. So let's get started looking into the article first. So this is my article and we will be, uh, I have integrated this, this code recipe in my text app, uh, the, uh, the app, the uh, code repo app, where I have my other code recipes as well. So this is where it is right now. And we will be taking a look at flutter underscore TTS plugin, which is right here. And which, uh, so as we see the, uh, the score for this plugin is 97, which is not 100, as you can see. So there could be some bugs or such things with that uh, plugin. So the plugin we usually want to be, uh, want to use, it should be around, uh, should be 100. That's the perfect uh, case. But 97 is good as well. But just to give you a heads up, there could be some issues with this plugin just because uh, it, its score is not perfect. As, just to keep and look at when you look, uh, when you search for plugins in this repo, that's the one score is the one thing you may want to look at if you have a multiple plugins which provides the same functionality. But in this case, this is the only plugin which is uh, closest to what I want to achieve. That's why I picked this plugin uh, for my code recipe. Okay, so uh, clicking on this text to speech plugin, it will bring out um, uh, this my little app right here is a piece of an app and uh, which has an image and a title and a little description and clicking on this description, it will start speaking it out. Um, and the same thing is for iOS as well, right here. So just to give you a little um, how it looks like, it's right here. And it could be loud, so just make sure you have turned your volume down. I just took the default for this particular text, so let me play it right now. The Griffith Observatory is the most iconic building in Los Angeles, perched high in the Hollywood hit. So, as you see, I stopped in the middle and I can... The Griffith Observatory again. is the most iconic building in Los Angeles, perched high in the Hollywood Hills. One. Okay. So that's the thing, uh, that's a little demo for this app. So let's take a, a look at the uh, code for this uh, particular, uh, implementing this particular functionality. And again, the YouTube video, which I'm recording right now, is will be coming up soon. And now to get started with the uh, pub spec YAML, as you can see, we have to have this uh, dependency, which is on Flutter underscore TTS package right here. And the version is, so the way you can install it again is we go to the installing tab and check the version here and copy paste simply this thing here and paste it on uh, under our pubspec.yml file. And it has to be a stateful widget just because um, we will be change, clicking the button. We will be uh, clicking this button right here. So it has to be this my whole uh, page has to be a stateful widget. And let's see the code. So in this code, I have uh, my description. That's a description I just showed you. It's a little big description right here. And it has a flag which is displaying, which is to hold the state of my, uh, whether it's my uh, text is being played or not. 
and the Flutter TTS is instance for the plugin. Now, for initializing and uh, disposing. So what this is, is how we will initialize our plugin and how we can dispose it off. So we will be initializing it inside the init state method for our Flutter widget. And for initializing, as you can see here, right, we have started the instance or created an instance. We check the platform, uh, which platform it is, because as you can see for Android, it's slightly different than the iOS. For iOS, there's nothing it needs to be done, but for Android, you have to also say flutter.tds.tds init handler. And for web is not supported at this moment by uh, for web by this plugin. So I just left it as a not support web plugin at this moment. And these are the methods that we have to initialize. And the first is uh, we set start handler. And at that this point, we are saying, okay, my is playing flag is true. And when the is completion handler calls be, is being called, you say is playing is false. And of course, when is error is occurred, we are printing the error at console and saying uh, it stopped playing, which is is playing is false. And in in dispose, we stop the uh, instance. So for speaking and stopping, so when we want to make it um, make it uh, reading it aloud, we first want to check the text whether it should not be empty, and then we just call this little method here. It's a very straightforward and of course it's a future as you can see it's a future and it's an async method and we have to call await so that it doesn't block our uh, execution of our app and if we pass the text in the speak method and if it's result success which is one we say okay it's playing is true and set my button the state of the button would whichever I want for my given app and for stopping we just call stop and this playing uh, boolean or flag is uh, set as false and there are few feature in this plugin that i want to show you quickly one is this uh, we can set the language that we will be setting in by default in english or it takes the device at locale and uh, and you can actually query the uh, set of languages supported by querying a flutter tts dot get languages and you can also change the voice. So as you saw, my I was using the female voice, but you can also change into the male voice. So female voice was by default on my on simulator, uh, but you can change it to uh, some other voice too. Uh, and getting how would you know like what support voices are supported? For that, you can query them by Flutter TTS dot get voices. So that's pretty much is there in this whole uh, recipe. And now let's dive in into the uh, code. And this is the where the code is in my GitHub repo. So this is my Android Studio. And as I showed like what, um, so this is my code right here. So there are two things I want to show you. The first thing is how I'm calling my start and stop. So this is my play button and in my play button, the way I'm stopping and changing my icon is based on this is playing flag. So if my is playing flag is true, that means my text is being played, then I want to show the stop button. And if my is this like it's not running uh, or if it's not played is false, then I want it to speak. So I showed uh, the speak uh, option. Oh, 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 sorry, actually I, I said reverse. The one thing I was saying is here. So the icon I'm showing on is playing. So if it's playing, I wanna show it to the stop. And if it's not playing, I want to show my green that like it's ready to play. In here, it's actually is uh, reverse. So if it's, uh, oh, uh, no, no, not reverse, but it's actually the action that you want to be, uh, want to take. So if it's playing, what you want to do? You want to stop it and uh, which is like same icon is the corresponding icon is showed here is stop and you can take a stop action and if it's is playing uh, if it's not true uh, or it's not being played what do you want to do you want to actually play or start speaking so that's what it is so it's pretty same thing and uh, uh, and you want to update this state in the is playing 
and based on the state of the spleen it auto it reconstruct the widget here widget rewrite here again since just because it's a uh, stateful widget so every time a state is changed our build tree from here it's being rebuilt again all right so that's the one thing and the other thing i want to talk about is the platform so how are we picking the platform what is this my platform so this is a little uh, utility i created here so you can check i have uh, provided the references so the way uh, we test on the cross platform projects is this so first we have we have to know what platform we are running in are we running in the web or in the mobile you could use in the older ways or the if you are just supporting the native project and you do not want to support the web project you can say platform dot uh, android and if it's true but if you are running your code in html it will actually error out it will just complain i do not have those methods so how you deal with those circumstances so one you want to create the one common file and you make sure you have unsupported for the platform which are not supported and when it's a, a core your code is running on html environment or the web environment it calls the web dot dot which is here otherwise it call mobile dot dot uh, let's see what's in there inside so in web dot dot this, this is my platform util which is what is being called from here platform dot util and get platform so in, in unsupported it says its platform is not supported and in the web it what it does is it uh, says it's a web because we know uh, this is the sun just because the, our control is came through here this is a web so we return as a web however in the mobile platform we have the platform uh, you see this is a class we have available in the dart.io and when is is android then we return its android platform if it's an ios we return ios platform again why we can't just do this thing right here in our uh, flutter sample in our demo code just because we cannot use dart.io import in our uh, in in the common source code because dot dot io main is not available in the web that's why we have to handle these checks using these uh, the way i showed you right now again the code is out there on my github feel free to check out and leave your comments if you have any questions or concerns uh, so th that's pretty much i uh, is in, in this particular code recipe and uh, feel free to send me suggestions comments or questions if you have any or if you want me to write or uh, make new videos about a particular topic feel free to uh, leave your suggestions down in the comments below and i will see you in the next video till then thank you and take care bye bye